Leicester City return to winning ways in the North East on Tuesday and they're looking to keep that winning habit going here in East Yorkshire this afternoon. City have won 10 of their last 10, 10 games in all competitions and it's 13 wins from 18 championship games when they've travelled away from King Power Stadium. The hosts are Hull City, six unbeaten coming into today's game but they've won just once on their last six games here at the MKM Stadium. Hull were the first team this season to claim a victory over the current league leaders. It was a 1-0 win for Hull back in September at King Power Stadium. Well, both sides today showing two changes from their midweek games for Hull. It was a 1-1 draw here in controversial circumstances against Birmingham. Ozan Tufan was the scorer of a controversial goal. He dropped to the bench, so too does Tyler Morton. In come Regan Slater and Anas Zahore. It's also a goal. It's Coyle, Jones, Greaves and Giles as a back four. Slater and Seri holding in midfield with Zahore. Carvalho and Philogene supporting Irmar up front. Leicester, they're two changes, see Connor Cody and Callum Doyle move to the substitute bench, Yannick Vestergaard is back from suspension James Justin also returns to the starting 11, Hermanson in goal, Chowdhury, Fast, Vestergaard and Justin is the Leicester defence with Winks, Jewsbury Hall and Eunice in midfield, Vardy up top supported either side by Mavadidi and Fatawu Jerry Taggart is alongside me. The first thing you notice, Jerry, that obviously this pitch is shared with the rugby league team as well. Hull FC, we can see the, the green lines over the white rugby lines, but the pitch itself, not quite in the, the condition that we're used to seeing around the country these days. No, absolutely not. You know, it's it's average at best, isn't it? There's a lot of bird patches on the pitch. Uh, and as the game goes on, that'll get dug up. Whether or not that hinders Leicester City style of play we'll, we'll have to wait and see but you know, definitely it doesn't make for a free flowing game of football the way I'm looking at it albeit we are up in the heavens here at the MKM at, uh, Stadium we are right at the back of the two tiered west stand the biggest stand here the rest of it a single tiered circular stadium in front of us but as we look from up on high we want a perfect view of the game that is about to get underway it looks like a full house there's not too many empty seats around MKM Stadium the Leicester City fans are over in the, the east corner of the ground they've packed out that away and as they have done throughout this season throughout this campaign on the road great backing to this Leicester City side we're underway with Leicester all in blue and a chance for Leicester to try and open up a gap on third place in particular Ball forward down the far touchline, intercepted by the chest of Louis Coyle. Slater, got Mavadidi trying to hold him back, but Slater with a, a blistering run down the right and into the penalty area goes down. Penalty given. Oh, what a storming run from Regan Slater. He's carried the ball from inside his own half down the right channel into the box. Mavadidi was with him all the way, and as he got into the penalty area, he's clicked his heels and gone down, and that was a comfortable and straightforward decision by the referee. Yeah. You know, he's been allowed to run all of 40, 50 yards there with a ball, Slater. And nobody really has come across to engage with him. For me, yes, Steffi Mavadidi's chasing him back. But Vestergaard's just let him run down the channel. He's carried on, and then before you know it, Leicester is scrambling on the edge of their own box. Dare I say a typical forwards challenge coming in from behind on the edge of the box. You know, it's been good pressing from home at the beginning of this game, not letting Leicester, not allowing Leicester to settle into their game. But Leicester just guilty there, unfortunately, of just allowing too much time, too much room too much space for Slater to get himself to the edge of the box and get the penalty. Fabio Carvalho two in his last four and he won't add to that because Hermanson diving to his right pushes the ball away it's a clenched fist celebration and Leicester maybe with an early let off here from the penalty spot. Carvalho coming into it on form but denied by Matt Hermanson yeah it's a cough. danger not over Leicester defending again it was Zahori down the left for Tawu seeing him out seven minutes gone nil-nil but Hull will be ruining an early opportunity that they've spurned yeah it's a let off good save obviously you've got to first thing you've got to do as a goalkeeper is try and guess what way 
The strike's going to go. Gaining that championship promotion experience. They start today in sixth position in that final playoff place. Here's Slater, who earned that penalty early on. Greaves is closed down by Jewsbury Hall and then by Eunice, who takes up possession edge of the area. Eunice is opened up and it's a shot over the bar. Eunice, I think, claiming that that took a touch, but he could have kept it down. It really opened up for him. Jewsbury Hall and Eunice combining to win the ball and Eunice with a glorious opportunity just inside the penalty area. So he does well initially, but he's got a pass to his left. Jimmy Vardy's in space. Decides to go it alone. Nobody near him. And it was his first touch that let him down. It's a Horry's free kick. Big guns. Greaves and uh, Jones on this near side. Leicester have dealt with it. Winks will feel he was fouled. And was fouled, according to the referee. Greaves, the offender. Came through the Hull Academy. Joined as an eight-year-old. He's making his 170th appearance for Hull today. Jacob Greaves. Yes. So we haven't really seen have we Harry Winks get on the ball at all so far because I've got Omar and Surrey yeah. Pass has lost possession and it's Carvalho and he scored Hermanson denied him from the spot but did he deny him when the ball came his way left side of the penalty area left footed a drilled powerful finish that Hermanson could do little about Leicester caught in possession and were punished for it just as they seem to be getting control of this game but Hull have the lead the on loan Liverpool midfielder Fabio Carvalho with the goal and it's Hull 1 Leicester 0 yeah, again you know, Leicester just been let off the hook giving away that penalty and what fast what in too much time space was spoke about Hull playing a high press from the off not allowing Leicester to settle. Vast dispossessed. And also will take the free kick from the uh, the 12 yard line if we're talking rugby league terms. Helped on by Dewsbury Hall, the ball over the top. Vardy got there first and he's got away from Greaves. He's on the left hand side, he's gone for an audacious trip, but it's well off target. The opportunity just presented itself momentarily, but it was a it was a difficult angle, it was a long way out. God, he couldn't execute the chip as well as he would have liked. Yeah, it's unlock he does brilliantly, Jamie Vardy. And yes, he's through one on one with a keeper, but the angle is so tight and he's got no support. He has to he has to just try and take that challenge on. And as you say, unfortunately he just goes wide wide. Jewsbury Hall has managed to turn and shoot, he's off the post. Just inside the D on the edge of the area, had his back to goal, a swift turn, a shot that didn't have power but was almost perfect in terms of accuracy. And it just came off the foot of the post, also well beaten and Leicester nearly equalised. Yeah, I think the, the, the goalkeeper wasn't even set. Jewsby Hall, you know, takes on that shot so quickly. He's got his back to goal, lets the ball run across his body, controls it with his right foot, turns, spins and shoots. Hermanson with clean sheets in 12 of his 35 championship games this season won't be able to add to the tally today did keep one on Tuesday at Sunderland as the ball spins out to this right hand side Ryan Giles heading the ball clear from Abdul Fatawu Leicester throw 12 yards from the whole goal that's a good ball it's a good ball from Hermanson you know instead of trying to force the play with his feet he hits a long diagonal out towards Fatawi and all Giles can do is put it out for a throw-in. Throwing goes into Fatawi, first touch takes him into the penalty area and that is a penalty. Seri bundling Fatawi over the ball. He's down, Leicester have a penalty, the second penalty in the game. Hull saw there saved. Can Leicester score theirs to grab an equaliser? Well, there you go, from the result and throw in, Leicester get a penalty. And it all comes from a long ball from Hermanson instead of him trying to, as I said, force the issue. I'm sure he just comes in and bundles him to the ground. It's a, it's a penalty. Jamie Vardy has taken responsibility from 12 yards. A chance for Leicester to equalise that whole goal. It's Jamie Vardy and it's into the top corner via a touch from Alsop. He'll enjoy the celebrations. He'll enjoy the fact that Leicester are level and it's seven goals in his last eight games for Jamie Vardy. Always the man that Leicester turn to when they are in need of a goal and they needed one here. It's whole one Leicester one. Yeah. 
Good finish from Vardy, as you say. If you need someone to step up and cope with that pressure, Vardy is the man. It goes to the keeper's left. The keeper actually gets a hand to it, but it's the height that beats him. He just clips it over the keeper's outstretched hand into the, the top left-hand corner. Vestergaard over the halfway line on the left flank. Ball and the line to Justin intercepted by Philogene. It's a throw that Justin was looking to take quickly. Dewsbury Hall giving him the option. It goes back to James Justin. Vardy and Eunice into the penalty area. Vardy's header across the face of goal and wide. We've seen him in those positions so many times, just losing his man, making the run to the the, uh, the near side of that six-yard area. Glancing header, that one, though, across the face of goal and well wide. Yeah, better. You know, he's unlucky, Jimmy Vardy. Comes at him at a flash. Olsop with the free kick from the right of his penalty area ball that goes all the way through to the Leicester penalty area where White Fast makes a stooping headed clearance. Zahore shot from the left of the area across the face of goal and into the bottom corner. And Hull have retaken the lead here at a packed MKM stadium. And Zahore on loan from last season's championship champions Burnley has provided a goal that might help Hull Championship promotion. Leicester will have to come from behind again. Hull lead by two goals to one. Now it all comes from a long ball from Allsop. And Leicester just do not deal with the first ball. It's hard to be headed. Nobody heads it. Just flicks it on, doesn't clear it. It's recycled out to Sahori on the far left. 1v1. Andre Terry doesn't get close enough. No, and, 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 it's not really attempting to get a block on that. The Tawu looking for the quick reply. Vardy is in space. Jamie Vardy equalises straight away. Jamie Vardy on the spot. Just to the right of the six-yard area. It was a storming run by Abdul Fatawu. Fed the ball into Vardy. You can't give him that much space. And as he took a touch with his left foot, finished with his right, another shot, just like the whole goal a moment ago, right into the bottom corner of the net. The Leicester fans down for seconds, jubilant moments after the whole second goal. We're all square once again inside the MKN Stadium. Yeah, great finish this time from Vardy. You know, great play, great build-up play from Abdul Fatawu to Vardy. Tried to return it to Ndidi, but uh, it was Alfie Jones in the way, and it's all coming forward again. Both teams swapping possession almost at will at the moment. Philogene coming in from the right. It's a shot through a crowd of players low across the ground. But Hermanson with a short dive down to his left-hand side to claim the ball comfortably. Yeah, good save. Good play, though, from Hull again. I think if anyone's playing the conditions properly... It's or better as we're looking for a longer clearance but he's rolled it out to the feet of Seri it and then it goes to Carvalho on the halfway line yeah, it was three on three up for a minute that's why they were shouting for it ball out by Umar and coming down the left is Zahore he's joined by Giles Umar is inside the penalty area the cross straight to Chowdhury and then in the box there's two players gone to ground Umar and Winks he's come to Umar he's offside he wouldn't have counted he's gone for the acrobatic overhead kick flag was already raised, there was all sorts going on in that. It's just the inability to clear your lines under pressure, trying to find a way to pass the ball when it's just not on for multiple reasons, you know, help themselves to another calamitous goal. The corner will eventually be delivered by Keenan Dewsbury Hall, whipped in, heady clear inside the six-yard area. Hull are looking for the full-time whistle, and it blows. That was the last chance. A thrilling game that Hull led twice and saw a penalty save. That was after six minutes when Carvalho was denied by Hermanson. They took the lead. That man, Carvalho, scoring after 16 minutes. Jamie Vardy equalising from the penalty spot on the half-hour mark. Hull back in front on the hour. Zahori with his second Hull go since joining on loan from Burnley. A shot from the left of the area. Up step that man again. Jamie Vardy fed by Abdul Fatawu. A cool, precise, brilliant Jamie Vardy finish he's at 15th of the season 8th in his last day all competitions and it finishes at the MKM Stadium Hull City 2 Leicester City 2